Okay, okay, top of the morning, everybody. Psychic channeling straight up right here. Someone close to you, a relationship, a, someone you thought was a loved one, straight up lies to your face and they think they're good at it, but they get this little look, right? This little like, to see if they get over on you, okay? And if you're affected by it. Some of you have shown like uh, a response or a reaction and you can see their face gets even more like, sinister like i look kind of sexy doing it but they don't look sexy doing it right they're lying you're you, you know it too you just you just you're confused by it because why would why would they lie why why they're psychopaths i'm so sorry to tell you they are psychopaths they are i was gonna say a name of someone i i knew back in the day but they are psychopaths get away from them you are better than that you are a divine chosen one that's who you are right now by being chosen you chose. You chose to go through this journey. You chose to balance the light and the dark. You're not just a Jedi, you are a Sith, but you're something so much more because you love all and you respect everyone. Most importantly, you respect yourself and you have that expectation for others and you know when they're not like that person who's that look, you know what that look is, right? And everything they say out of their mouth is a lie. Some of them don't even have a look. They just have to, they just have to lie. They just have to keep talking like lying. And, and then they want to talk about, oh, I just want to, unfortunately, they do say they want to hurt themselves. That is not your problem. That is not your fault. You are not their savior. Okay. I know it's hard. I know we all have this thing, especially as divine beings. We, we're here to help. We are helping. We are. But know that your table, right, is the most important table. All right. And it's very important that you invite the right people to sit at your table. That individual is not the right person. If they talk about hurting themselves, do what you have to do, call people, whatever. The thing is, they're not gonna do it. They're, they're, it's a ploy, they, that's so crazy. They want sympathy from you, okay? They want sympathy from you, that's all they want. And they wanna try to get you into the little web of manipulation and lies. And that's how they do it. They're gonna discard you right away, immediately, okay? Don't fall for it. You see through their, you're such a good person but you see through, you see who they are. They might be a little bit younger. I'm getting female energy, okay? I haven't shuffled this, but I haven't even looked at it. Let's split the deck and I just wanna see what we have here. Ooh, now let's do that again. I had the emperor, but I did it reverse, but only because I was holding it a certain way. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm not gonna do that, I'll show it. Reversed is not really because I was just holding the deck wrong. I'm not denying it. I don't think you're in reverse. You are the emperor. This other person thinks they're the emperor, but the blood in their hands, that's who they really are. You, you are actually the emperor. You have the unk sign. You have the key to life. You know the secrets. You're hurt though. You know what this blood is right here? And I don't know what TV show this is, but you're just hurt that these humans keep coming to you like this. And I'm going to say humans. And you have so much love and you understand it. Don't let that blood, don't let yourself bleed. Don't get angry about it. It's all learning. We can say a lesson, if you will, but an opportunity for you to become such a better person and love even more. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. You're going to go through these things in your head, right? You're going to go through these things in your head and you're like, these people, they don't, do you're right. They don't deserve it. But you're better than that. And you know it. You're loving and amazing. You're loving and amazing. And you forgive, but you don't invite them to your table. And they're the individual who said to, well, what do you bring into my table? What do you bring into the table? <laughs> you're like, I ain't bringing nothing to your table. I got my own. More importantly, you have your own throne. Your own throne, because you're in the emperor energy, okay? Things come to you. You don't go to them. Things chase you. You don't chase them. Think difference is, you don't want to be chased. You get what I'm saying? You attract, right? Now, if anyone ever says, I want to be pursued, I want to be chased, Get away from them because it is a mutual understanding. Remember that. There's a difference of, of romancing together. Okay? Yes. Thank you, as I just heard. Romancing together. What do they call that? Rep, uh, reciprocity? You know if you're not getting that back. Be careful for those love bombers, right? Who will just at the beginning, boom, 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 all this, do all this stuff for you, all this stuff for you, all this stuff for you. And then it just stops immediately. And then everything after that, they're going to say, remember when I did this? Remember when I did this? Remember when I did this? And you're going to start feeling bad. Like, oh, maybe I haven't done. No, no, no. 
take a moment, step away. First of all, just get away from them. You don't want that in your life. But if you're not there yet, that's fine. Take a moment, step away from them. Think of all the great things you've done for them too. And then ask them. They're going to hate this. Ask me like, well, why'd you stop doing that? You should keep doing it if you want me. Now, I'm teaching you a little, uh, I guess, narcissistic discard. What? Oh, yeah. If you want to play that game, right? And thing is, they're not going to win. If you just keep challenging them, keep asking questions, you know, they're eventually, they're going to run away from you. But I call it narcissistic discard. When you do something like that and go, well, you should keep doing it then. <laughs> Look at me, right? Some of you might be offended with what I'm saying. Please don't be. I don't do that. I, I say, don't even invite them in your life, right? Some, some of y'all in the situations, I, I'm seeing it, like at work, something, you can't even get away from it. You're going to have to, what? Not everybody. Someone maybe specific or in particular is watching right now who knows exactly what I'm saying. Thank you. And it's not that you have to engage with them. But again, if it's a work situation, fuck. You know? Do it with a smile. And a genuine smile. Because know that if you if you are in that situation, you can change it whenever you want, but you're there for a reason. You're probably helping to heal. You just being there is, is a blessing for everybody. All right? So I'm going to leave it right there, everybody. I'm going to get this workout on. Let's do it. Have a great day.